Welcome back everybody as we're watching the eight goals. Yes, it's not deja vu. Uh, we're watching the eight goals that Celtic have scored against Ritterai. Uh, including Karamoka Dembele getting a brace. Ralston nutmegging uh, defenders. Um, Mikey Johnston getting a brace. And Jordan Larson scoring four goals. Um... The reason I didn't play this game in its entirety is because, frankly, um, we were going to batter them anyway. So I figured I'd just show you the goals. Uh, so we've won 8-0 um, at home and 8-0 away as well. So just a 16-0 all round. Uh, Jordan Larson getting four goals in this game is just phenomenal, to be honest. And uh, you see here Larson... Getting on the end of another one. And Dembele crossing for Johnston. Who gets his brace as well. So that was it. 8-0. Um, pretty emphatic. Uh, they keep a stank of vicious. Stank the place out. 5.8 out of 10. Uh, we played quite a few um, youngsters in this. Uh, played Doohan, the goalkeeper. Um, he got a 7.2. I played Dane Murray, uh, 17 year old, uh, he played in that game, got an 8.8 .8. and this lad, Barry Hepburn, Barry, it's like Silic Bang, uh, so Barry Silic Bang Hepburn, uh, 17 year old, he had a good game as well, um, got a 9, uh, eight, uh, 4 key passes and an assist. Um, Aitaran got seven key passes, uh, created a chance and two assists as well, so he did really well. And then a striker, Jaden Ferguson-Williams, he got a game. Uh, he's only on 30 quid a week and there he is playing in Champions Cup. Uh, he played up front for us and uh, when he came off the bench. Matthew Martin, a new gen left midfielder, he came... Off the bench as well and got a game and let's see we had Benoit uh, a new gen centre mid um, Ewan Otu uh, on there as well and Chris McQueen and Angelini Vincent Angelini great name uh, so we had him on the bench um, so yeah we did all right um, I'd say we did pretty damn good actually and today, uh, we're going to be playing Hibernian. Uh, I've already done team selection. Uh, rested a load of players um, so we could play our strongest team, uh, barring injury. Uh, we do have um, Odds and Edward injured and a few other players injured. Uh, Isaac's slowly coming back um, from injury as well. Uh, squad numbers, here we go. David Neres. David Neres also signed. Oh my god, I forgot to tell you. Right, Neres. <laughs> um, Neres signed for us. Oh god, I got. Where is it? Oh, that's not it. That's Celtic history. 34 million quid he cost. Um, now, because uh, I lost. James Forrest. Was it Leicester he went to? I think it was Leicester and Arsenal were in for him. It was Leicester. Um, he went to... 14.5 million. He went to Leicester for. Um, so he did well for his last year. 11 goals, 6 assists, 3 player to match awards. From 34 games. Um... So we say goodbye to James Forrest, but we say hello to Dave, David Neres. Now, yeah, okay, so I have a, I've had to pay thirty-four million for him, and he is valued at twenty-five million. And I've had to put him on sixty-two grand a week, where Forrest was on fourteen grand or something like that a week. But I think it's going to be worth it. So, pace, agility, acceleration. Passing, off the ball, all 16. Fleur, 17. Dribbling, 18. 
this is where we see if I've been a prat or if I've been a genius. Um, if I've been a prat, I'm going to have to hold my hand up to it. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I've, I've always wanted David Neres in one of my saves. And this is it. This is the one. So, saved it for the Celtic save. Oh, Semper. Adrian Semper is a bit of a, a punt. Uh, Florentino Luis, also a bit of a punt. As is Bruno Gamarez and David Neres. But I think they'll improve us. And more to the point, I think they'll help us do well in Europe. So here's Christy now to Bruno Gamarez. Looking for Keane, but can't find him. Christy puts one in. Keane! At the near post. There you go. Five minutes in. Moyes Keane. Gets a goal. There we go. Good pass by Christie. I nearly sold Ryan Christie as well, by the way. I forget who I turned the offer down by. Um, yeah, but I nearly let Ryan Christie go. Oof, not good. So, here we go. Three shots, three on target in the first ten minutes. Juan Miranda's picked up a yellow card. Bobby Madden is the referee today. Hibernian. They're a bit of a... I don't know. They they do alright. They can pull a result out the uh, out the bag. Stevie Mallon can get a goal for them. Um... I don't know. They're a hit and miss team for me. Jonathan Diamo. Okay. Scott Allen. Former Celtic player I think. Good attributes but I don't know. Not not really quite good enough with the physicals and mentals. Here we go. Oh, Grey tackling Gomez. Horgan. Running down the line. Is it Julian who's facing him up? Oh, it's Florentino Luis. There we go. Oh, Moise Keane. He's through. Oh, Smith saves. I don't even think Julian's playing in this one. I think Christopher Julian might be injured. Oh, they're playing it about. They're passing it around and we're closing them down. It's good. Florentino Luis for Miranda. Oh, Gomez whips one in. Ah, oh, foul. Hang on. Let's just... Let's just have a look who's the best penalty taker here. I think it could be Moyes Keane, you know. Finishing 15, penalty 12. I know Bruno Gamares wants to take it, but... I think you got to let your striker take it, haven't you? He's already scored one. Oh, he scored a second. There we go. Oh, that was a big call. That was a big almighty call, that was. 2-0. <sighs> Drills it home. That'll give him a bit of confidence. Bruno Camaras is a great player, but... Oh, Neres puts one in and Keen Thought he had his hat-trick, but he's disallowed for being offside. Oh, damn. Kevin Nisbet has scored for Dunfermline. It's a good striker, Kevin Nisbet. A good, good goal scoring record. Let's see. They haven't had a shot on target or a shot on goal right now. There we go, Christy. To Miranda. He's going to shoot. Oh, took a. No, no, it didn't take a deflection. No. I thought it had, but... Uh. Right, we're not going to overcomplicate things, John Kennedy. What we're going to do is be passionate and say, please for your performance, keep going. There we go. They all look delighted. Give them a bit of confidence. And then... It's time to get creative. Because we give them some confidence. 
may inspire a few of them. David Neres, oh yes, Florentino Luis puts it in. There you go, 3 0. Neres with that left foot. What a bullet header, by the way. Well, looking complacent. Uh, no, thank you. Demand more. Never mind complacent. There you go, all focused. There you go. That's, that's how you do it. If they get complacent, just demand more from them. Hogan on the wing again. Tackled by Gomez. Gray looks up, tries to find Kambiri. Finley heads it down. And they regain control with Stevie Mallon in midfield. He looks for Joe Newell, but David Neres picks up the rebound. Oh, that's gone to Angel Gomez. David Neres, there he is, first goal of the season. He picked up the loose ball, found Angel Gomez, and I just wondered for a second what Gomez was going to do. He seemed to stop, stop just there and check his options, and he was just looking for the head of Neres. There you go. 4 0. And by the way, let's let's keep demanding more from them because here's Neres finding Keane. Oh, that's his hat trick. Sixth goal of the season. Moyes Keane. Five nil. Let's rack up the goals. Neres winning the ball right there and then feeding Keane in. What a goal! Uh, sorry if you could hear me getting up to close the door. Got a washing machine on and it's rattling like a good one. <laughs> Dear me, it's rattling like a Bernian's defence right now. Let's see, 16 shots, 9 on target. They haven't had a single one yet and we're coming up to the 70th minute. Gray tries to play. Hibernian out of trouble, but only finds Gramerez. Oh, Neres is in again for his second goal. 6 0. David Neres, there you go. Second goal of the game. Christie found him really well. He's got a left foot and a half. Dear me. I'm loathed to make any subs right now. I know I normally do. But I think Jordan Larson got four in the last game. And he deserves to play. And Moyes Keane's already got his hat trick. He deserves to uh, come off to stand an ovation. Um, let's see. Let's give Moyes Keane that stand on ovation on his own. Let's not put anyone else on. Um, let's see what do we need. Scott Bain needs a bit of fitness. I know that. And Ryan Fredericks needs a bit of fitness. Um, so we'll bring them two on. Bit of match sharpness. Give him a bit of praise. Oh, they're fired up. There we are. Boys have done well today. Boys have done really, really well. Looks like Hibs have had a couple of shots. Nothing to write home about. There's David Gray on the right for them. Looking to give it Stevie Mallon. Hanlon feeds Hamilainen out on the left. Oh! Is that offside? I think so. Greg Stewart is offside. Oh, Stevie Mallon in trouble here. Gets a yellow card, I think. Christie. Oh, he's at the, he's at the post and the keeper gathers that ball afterwards. Ah. Luis Fernandez. Feed him. Oh, he should have fed Fredericks down the right. Come on, Christy. To Gomez. Florentino Luis. 
So Bruno Camaras, he does find Ryan Fredericks. Can he keep it in? No, it's too much. Too much on that one. There we go. 6-0. Boom. Moyes Keane hat-trick. Played very well indeed, boys. Well done. And let's see. Yep. Yeah, I think we're top. Uh, <laughs> only one game played. Let's have a little look at Kevin Nisbet. He's uh thought he'd be a better striker than that, to be honest with you, in this game. Um I'm pretty sure he used to be like sixteen at finishing or something. Um and then his physicals were quite poor, but it looks as though his his physicals have improved a little bit and finishing's diminished. I think Blur Henderson was the other one. If you're doing a, a, a Scottish save, um, I think Blur Henderson was the other one. It was a free agent. 25-year-old. How much money do you reckon we could sign him for? 1500 a week? Let's get him on a grand. He's asked for 1400 Listen mate, it's a privilege to play for Celtic. $1,200, but I'm reducing your signing fee. 1200 and I'm reducing your appearance fee and your goal bonus. Ooh, your next deal will have to be acceptable, mate. This is Celtic. This is Celtic, son. Who do you think you are? I might just. I might just let you go. Mm. We don't need him. And it is a waste of money. Go on. <laughs> ah. Right. Let's see. If we can improve Blur Henderson. Because I reckon. With our facilities. And. With our fitness training. If we can get him. Improved. I reckon we can sell him on. Let's do a little bit of money ball. Um, so Blair Henderson's the project. Yannick Carrasco, he looks good. I can't afford 71 million, so bye bye. Um, <laughs> who's this guy? Bridge and Dilu. Uh, fee of 195,000. He's a striker. Um, we'll scout him, but we won't sign him. Let's see. 90 grand a year over three years. Partick Thistle are next. Or is it? No, it's Partizan Tirana. Alright. It says Part Tier down there, and I thought Partick Thistle. Partizan. Okay. Frimpong set to move on long uh, to Hertha Berlin. Go on, mate. Go enjoy yourself. Maccabi Haifa signed Kyle. So we do a solidarity payment. Okay. All right. Oh, 1,780. <laughs> well, it'll cover Blair Henderson's wages. I'm thinking we could probably sell Blair Henderson for half a million. He's going to cost us 1300 quid a week, which is 65,000 a year. So we need to sell him for 100 grand to make it worth it. So let, let's play a little bit of money ball and just experiment as to whether my um my uh let's see Let's see whether we can improve players through training and 
also improve them through mentoring. Okay, so Chelsea have just signed Moussa Dembele. Um, and we get 833 grand from that, which is good. Um, finishing 16. Same with determination, off the ball, strength, pace, balance, acceleration. Oof. Uh, there's rumours he's off to Man United in real life. Um, yeah, we can't afford 56 million. <laughs> Uh, we can afford Blair Henderson, however, uh, for £3,200. Um, <laughs> um, so we'll do that deal. Now, looking at him, we're going to be able to see how much we can improve him. Um, I don't think it's going to be that hard to improve him that much. But let's, let's have a little look anyway. Uh, let's see the squad the entire team selection now we're playing Partizani from Albania and they don't look that good in all honesty um, they look bang average so I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna play um, doing in goal um, I think we got to pull him off the loan list though because um, unavailable for loan. There we are. Because we do need him for European games. Uh, sit on the bench because Scotty Bain ain't there. Um, let's see. We've got the reserves that can join us. Doing in goal. Um, Julian's coming back to fitness. We need to give him a game. Fredericks needs a game at right back. Um, Jared Bowen needs a game. Mm. Who else needs a game? I'll put Liam Hughes on the bench. And... Alexander Isaac, he needs a game. So does Jack Larkin, who can go on the bench. Young striker. He's... 20 year old is improving we'll, we'll try to give him a game Larson um, could we play Larson on the wing I don't know definitely put him in the squad for now is that Brody Patterson I think he's leaving on a free um I had to run, give him a game. Um, we want to rest Gomez and Neres. Uh, Brian Coffey looks knackered. Weston McKinney, he can come into the side. Sandro Tonelli, so can he. Bruno Gamares, we want to rest. We want to rest Miranda as well. So I think we'll play Taylor. At left back, uh, Scott McKenna, I think needs a game. Um, who do we play left wing? Left wing. We got Mikey Johnston there, and then we could put. Mm, We can put some decent players on the bench. Hopefully we don't have to use them. We'll put Ralston on the bench. Um, we'll put... A... Uh, a Miranda. And Florentino Luis. And Angel Gomez on the bench. No. No room for him. So, that should be good. Um, let's see. Finley... Why am I playing Finley at left back? Did he not just play in the last game? I'm sure I was playing Greg Taylor there instead. Why is Finley there? Right, Greg Taylor. 
Right, McKenny. Bots to bots midfielder. He wants to be in that middle role there. Supporting, okay. I had to run Isaac. Wants to be the advance forward who attacks. So we're going to get a good look at Isaac today. That looks like a good team, actually, to go and beat that side. I mean, we should beat them, right? <laughs> I mean, should and do are two very different things. Um, but I would, I would presume we would. <laughs> Let's see. Transfers. Oh, God. Inbox. That's Bowen to welcome Henderson. Okay. Morton. Uh, yeah, take him on trial. He's now homegrown. Great. Uh, Blair Henderson isn't available for this game. Okay. Brandier, 33.5 million. Cannot afford him, mate. I've just brought David Neres for a fortune for 34 million. I'd rather have brought David Neres than Emmy Brandier for 34 million, by the way. Okay. Here we go. This is Celtic versus Partizan. And. I think that's a pretty strong side. It's a very good defence. Fredericks, Julian, McKenna and Taylor. Tonali and McKenny in midfield. I'm thinking we're going to give him an arse kicking. Could be wrong. Don't think I am. But yeah. Let's see. It's Celtic Park. Partizani from Albania. Let's see what you got boys. Let's see. Should we go very attacking against this lot? Let's just up it a little bit. Fredericks to Bowen. Fredericks switching play to Greg Taylor. Crosses. It's out by Curry. Fredericks again. Oh! Alexander Isaac on his debut gets a goal and he's offside. Damn it. Never mind. This Celtic team, by the way, it, the squad is looking really good. I'm just quietly confident about Europe. Europe is the big thing for me. I want Celtic to win the Champions League. I'm throwing it out there right now. I, I know it's, you know, a pipe dream. But, there's McKinney. Oh, he's going to shoot. Oh, I wish he'd have passed. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I think we're going to do really, really well this year. Taylor on that left-hand side. Looks inside to Ihataran. McKenney. Looks for Ihataran again. Oh, what a goal. Mohamed Ihataran. There he is. Second goal of the season for him. 1-0 in the first 10 minutes. Yeah, let me know where you think we're going to end up with this team because... I know there's some big teams in Europe, but, you know, I, I just got a sneaky feeling. If I had Florentino Luiz, Bruno Gomez, and Sandro Tonali in that midfield, like a midfield three, Alexander Isaac, he's going to take the penalty as well. Will this be his debut goal? Yes, there you go, he's off the mark. Um... If we get like a really, really tough team, we need to play that three in midfield. I think they're as good a three as we can get. Tonali, Gramerez and Florentino Lewis. And then you'd have uh, McKenney off the bench as well. I, th I think we'd look really good. As Christopher Julian gets the third goal 
from the corner. Here we go. Bowen puts in a corner. Isaac heads it. Keeper saves. Johnny on the spot is Christopher Julian. Um, and I think with Neres and Bowen on the right, and Johnston and Gomez on the left, I I just think we've got enough strength in depth, attacking wise, midfield and attack that we didn't have last year. And don't forget we've got um, here's Bowen again. Oh Isaac gets his second. Bowen puts it on his head. Don't forget we've got Odson Edward coming back from injury. We've got Jordan Larson. We've got this lad Alexander Isaac scoring goals. And the mighty Blair Henderson. Um, <laughs> um, I, I think we'll be okay, you know. Jack Larkin coming through. See, it's games like this, but like Scottish Cup Betfred games. Oh, just wide. Um, where we could play uh, Jack Larkin and Blair Henderson against the lesser teams and maybe win with them or at least bring them off the bench, you know. Um, but I, I'm i quietly confident. we got Taylor and Miranda for the left back. O'Donnell and Fredericks um, and Ralston for right back. Centre-halves were looking good. I know, I know I'm talking us up a little bit, but, you know. Isaac. Oh, Capliari, by the way. What a save that was. Stopped him from getting his hat-trick. I think the only position I would improve us right now is goalkeeper. Adrian Semper is a good keeper. Um, but, I don't know. Andre Anana for my hats. I can't get him out of my head. We we may at the end of this season go try to sign Onana. And he's probably going to cost 50, 60 million. And he'll probably be the only... Isaac gets his hat trick. Wow. And I think that's the third assist he's got from Bowen as well, by the way. <laughs> so those two like each other. Um, but yeah, I, I think we're going to... Um, we're going to... Get Andre and Nana at the end of the season, beginning of the next season. And that, I think, with this side improving, will do bits. Alexander Isaac has just got his fourth goal in the first half. This lad is going to be frightening. Oh, my word. Alexander Isaac, I picked him up in Spain somewhere. Was it Real San Sebastian, I think? I think it might have been San Sebastian. Four goals in a game. Bowen's given him two assists. I think McKenny give Ayata on the assist. So I think his other assist has come from Johnson. Or was it the penalty? No, he got a penalty, didn't he? A penalty, and then he's got three assists. Two from Bowen, one from Johnson, I think. 6-0. That's ridiculous. Um, they've not had a single shot or one on target yet. Oh, man, we are frightening. Here we go. Oh, Bowen with the header. Ayataran comes away with it. Got all those red shirts scrambling to get back. Ayataran's going all the way here. Cuts inside. Lays it off for Tenali. Isaac, oh he's offside, he nearly had goal number 5, oh my word, Alexander Isaac, what a beast, Jared Bowen, he's going to shoot, oh keeper saves, Bowen with the corner, McKenny puts that one over, oh well, um, right, because he's looking knackered and his fitness ain't great, we'll bring on. Um, we'll bring on Jack Larkin, see what he can do. Um, and I think we'll bring on um, Jordan Larson on that right wing. Because it says he can play right wing, so let's see if he can. Um, 
let's see who else we got. Uh, Julien and Fredericks are not looking great. I think we'll give them a little bit more time, but we'll bring on Rolston or Aya for one of them too. Bowen and Isaac. Bowen's got a 9. Isaac's got a 9.8. Damn, that's as close to a 10 as I've seen. I've never seen a 9.9. .9. Um, but damn. Ahataran's got a 9.2 at the moment. Julian's got a 9.1. Boys are on fire. Johnson's got a 9. Right. Let's see. Let's tell them to get creative. Here's Taylor, Ty Hatteran. Plenty of time. Oh, Larkin. Put it on a plate for him, but he gets a corner. That That's just trolling them right there. At the top, it just said, it looks like they're trying to work the ball into the box a bit more. Oh, my word. That's ultimate in trolling. Ryan Fredericks on the right hand side picks it up, gives it to McKenney. Tanali finds our hat around and spreads it out wide to Johnson. If he can find Miranda down that left hand side, Tanali will. Oh, it's Greg Taylor, sorry, not Miranda. Tanali would have done great to find Miranda. He's back in Glasgow. Oh, Jacob Larson. Not Jacob Larson. Oh, is it? It is Jordan Larson. Why did I call him Jacob? Henrik Silverson. <laughs> oh my word. Tanali with a tackle. Here's Jordan Larson. Looking for Larkin. He's through. Go on, lad. He scored Jack Larkin. He's only gone and done it. Oh, go on, son. Jack Larkin. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jack score inside of those big white sticks. <laughs> there you go. Well, there we are. Um, yeah, I think we'll. I think we don't want to flog Julian, do we? Let's bring on Aya for him. Um, well, that that's amazing. I was going to troll them by bringing on Liam Li, uh, Liam Hughes for uh, Ross Dewan, the keeper, but nah, would have been too much trolling, I think. Um, I see seven nil. 44 shots, 19 on target. They've not had a single shot yet. Oh, see, we look good right now, but wait till we play Juventus. Dennis Doda, 19 year old. Okay. Looks like a League One player. Here's Tenali. Finding Jordan Larson. Oh, Tenali. Had Doda going in on him there, a teenager. Ryan Fredericks on the right wing. Crosses. Oh. Larson. Oh, Jordan Larson. Pings it home. Cutting in on that right hand side onto his left foot. Can he play on the right? Yeah, I think so. Here he is. Makes the run into the box. Picks it up. Boom. Left foot off the inside of the post. 8 0. Oh, my word. Let's praise the boys. Let's tell them they've done well. I hat around. Greg Taylor. Inside for Sandro Tonali. Is the one more chance. Here's Larson. Finds I hat around. McKenny. Oh, McKenny. Western McKenny smashed one. He's only gone and got a goal. The defensive mid one. One goal this season. With an absolute thunderbolt. And I think that's all we're going to get from him. So he's very much a defensive midfielder. Um, he's he's really not um, the most attacking. Hang on. There he is. Weston McKenney. Heading 16. Long throws 17. Uh, tackling 15. But passing 13. But his long shots are 9. He's finishing a 9. He's only 21. But he's got... Natural fitness, balance, aggression, bravery, determination, work rate and long throws, all 17. 
That's incredible. Um, heading and teamwork, a 16. Um, an 18 for stamina. So this guy here, 6 foot 1, dives into tackles, tenacious defensive midfielder. This guy here is just going to be a midfield dynamo for us. Um, but there you go, 9-0. Alexander Isaac uh, getting four goals. Jordan Larson chipping in. Jack Larkin. Jack Larkin, the uh, young Irish striker who's come through the academy at Celtic. There you go, that'll do him some good. So let's go to the dressing room. Boys have played very well indeed. Excellent result. And... Celtic on cloud nine. The fans celebrated an emphatic 9 0 win. Classy eyes are conform. There you go, perfect morale. Who do we play next? Um, is it Ross County? Yeah, Ross County um, and Motherwell. I think what I'll do is we'll skip the Partizani second leg. Um, I may show you the goals from it, but we'll, we'll play the Ross County and Motherwell games. And I'll come back with another video tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you have and you want to support the channel, don't forget, you can Patreon us. Uh, starting at just $1, which is like 60p um, <laughs> every month. But it would be much appreciated. Um, or you can watch an ad. That helps as well. Uh, if you made it this far, why not drop a like on the video. Try and share it. Make sure you're subscribed. It is all much appreciated. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care of yourself. Have a good day. Bye now.